Welcome back to Bible Quiz. We've got 80 questions today about Jesus. Let's get started. 1. What city was Jesus born in? Nazareth, Jerusalem, Bethlehem, or Capernaum? Bethlehem, Micah 5.2 But you, Bethlehem Ephrathah, though you are small among the clans of Judah, out of you will come for me one who will be ruler over Israel, whose origins are from of old from ancient times. 2. Who was, how old was Jesus when he was baptized by John the Baptist? 25, 33, 30, or 35? Thirty. Luke 3.23 Now Jesus himself was about 30 years old when he began his ministry. He was a son, so it was thought of Joseph, the son of Heli. 3. What miracle did Jesus perform at the wedding in Cana? Healing a blind man, turning water into wine, walking on water, or feeding 5,000 people? Turning water into wine. John 2.11 This, the first of his signs, Jesus did at Cana in Galilee and manifested his glory and his disciples believed in him. 4. Which disciple betrayed Jesus? Peter, Judas, John, or Thomas? 22-3-4 Judas, Then Satan entered Judas, called Iscariot, one of the twelve, and Judas went to the chief priests and the officers of the temple guard and discussed with them how he might betray Jesus. 5. On which mountain did Jesus give the Sermon on the Mount? Mount Tabor, Mount Sinai, Mount Olives, or Unnamed? Unnamed, Matthew 5, 1-2, Seeing the crowds, he went up on the mountain, and when he sat down, his disciples came to him, and he opened his mouth and taught them. 6. How many days did Jesus fast in the wilderness? 20 days, 40 days, 30 days, or 50 days? Forty days, Matthew 4, 2, After fasting forty days and forty nights, he was hungry. 7. Who helped Jesus carry the cross? Peter, John, Simon of Cyrene, or Nicodemus? 8. Simon of Cyrene, Luke 23 26, as they led him away, they seized Simon from Cyrene, who was on his way in from the country, and put the cross on him and made him carry it behind Jesus. Odd, you have said so. 8. Who was the high priest who accused Jesus during his trial? Caiaphas, Pilate, Annas, or Herod? 9. Caiaphas, Matthew 26, 59-61 Then the chief priests and the whole Sanhedrin were looking for false evidence against Jesus so that they could put him to death, but they did not find any. Though many false witnesses came forward, finally two came forward and declared, this fellow said, I am able to destroy the temple of God and rebuild it in three days. 9. Who witnessed Jesus' transfiguration? Peter, James, and John, Andrew, Bartholomew, and Judas, Matthew, Thomas, and Philip, or James, Andrew, and John? 9. Peter, James, and John, Matthew 17, 1-2 after six days, Jesus took with him Peter, James, and John, the brother of James, and led them up a high mountain by themselves. There he was transfigured before them. His face shone like the sun, and his clothes became as white as the light. 10. Who was Jesus talking to when he said, You must be born again? Nicodemus, Pontius Pilate, John the Baptist, or Peter? 10. Nicodemus, John 3.3, 3, Jesus replied, Very truly I tell you, no one can see the kingdom of God unless they are born again. 11. Where did Jesus grow up after returning from Egypt? Bethlehem, Jerusalem, Nazareth, or Capernaum? 
Nazareth, Matthew 2.23, and he went and lived in a town called Nazareth, so was fulfilled what was said through the prophets, that he would be called a Nazarene. 12. What was the name of the pool where Jesus healed the blind man? Siloam, Gehon, Bethesda, or Phineas? Siloam. John 9 7, go, he told him, wash in the pool of Siloam. This word meant, means sent. So the man went and washed and came home seeing. 13. Which prophet foresaw Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem on a donkey? Isaiah, Zechariah, Ezekiel, or Malachi? Zechariah, Zechariah 9.9 Rejoice greatly, daughter Zion. Shout, daughter Jerusalem. See, your king comes to you righteous and victorious, lowly and riding on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a donkey. 14. In what region was Jesus when he asked his disciples, who do people say the Son of Man is? Judea, Galilee, Samaria, or Caesarea Philippi? Caesarea Philippi, Matthew 16, 13. When Jesus came to the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say the Son of Man is? 15. What did Jesus say about the stones of the temple? The stones will remain forever. These stones will be replaced by gold. Not one stone will be left on another, or these stones are pure. Not one stone will be left on another. Mark 13, 2. Do you see all these great buildings? Replied Jesus. Not one stone here will be left on another. Everyone will be thrown down. 16. Who prophesied that Jesus would be called Emmanuel? Jeremiah, Ezekiel, Daniel, or Isaiah? Isaiah, Isaiah 7:14. Therefore, the Lord Himself will give you a sign: the virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and you and will call him Emmanuel. 17. Which ruler ordered the massacre of infants in Bethlehem? Herod the Great, Pontius Pilate, Caesar Augustus, or Herod Antipas? Herod the Great, Matthew 2.16, when Herod realized that he had been outwitted by the Magi, he was furious, and he gave orders to kill all the boys in Bethlehem and its vicinity who were two years old and under. 18. What was Jesus' response when asked about paying taxes to Caesar? Give to Caesar what's Caesar's, and to God what's God's. Mark 12, 17. Then Jesus said to them, Give back to Caesar what is Caesar's, and God what is God's. And they were amazed at him. 19. Who did Jesus say would deny him three times before the rooster crowed? Judas, John, Peter, or Thomas? Peter, Matthew 26, 34. Truly I tell you, Jesus answered, this very night before the rooster crows, you'll disown me three times. 20. What sign did Jesus give the Pharisees to show his authority? Sign of Jonah, sign of Moses, sign of Elijah, or the sign of David? Sign of Jonah, Matthew 12, 39. He answered, A wicked and adulterous generation asks for a sign, but none will be given it except the sign of the prophet Jonah. 21. Where did Jesus perform his first miracle? Cana, Nazareth, Jerusalem, or Capernaum? Cana, John 2.11, what Jesus did here in Cana of Galilee was the first of the signs through which he revealed his glory, and his disciples believed in him. 22, how long had Lazarus been in the tomb before Jesus raised him from the dead? Two days, four days, three days, or seven days? Four. 
four days, John 11.39. But Lord, said Martha, the sister of the dead man, by this time there is a bad odor, for he has been there for four days. 23. Who said, Lord, I believe, help my unbelief? A Roman centurion, a blind man, a Canaanite woman, or the father of a possessed boy? Father of possessed boy. Mark 9 24. Immediately the boy's father exclaimed, I do believe. Help me overcome my unbelief. 24. Who asked Jesus what is truth during his trial? Herod, Caiaphas, Pilate, or Annas? Pilate, John 18.38, what is truth, retorted Pilate. With this, he went out again to the Jews gathered there and said, I find no basis for a charge against him. 25, how many times did Jesus predict his death and resurrection to his disciples? Once, three times, twice, or four times? Three times, Mark 10, 33-34, We are going up to Jerusalem, he said, and the Son of Man will be delivered over to the chief priests and the teachers of the law. They'll condemn him to death and will hand him over to the Gentiles. On the third day he will rise. 26, In what town did Jesus raise a widow's son from the dead? Capernaum, Bethany, Nain, or Jericho? Nain, Luke 7, 14 to 15. Then he went up and touched the buyer they were carrying him on, and the bearers stood still. He said, Young man, I say to you, get up. The dead man sat up and began to talk, and Jesus gave him back to his mother. 27. Who anointed Jesus with expensive perfume at Bethany? Martha, Salome, Mary, or Joanna? Mary, John 12, 3, then Mary took about a pint of pure nard, an expensive perfume. She poured it on Jesus' feet and wiped his feet with her hair, and the house was filled with the fragrance of the perfume. 28, in which book does Jesus describe himself as a good shepherd? Matthew, John, Luke, or Mark? John. John 10 11. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. 29. In which chapter of Matthew does Jesus give the Great Commission? Matthew 28. Matthew 28 19 and 20. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. 30. What was the name of the Pharisee who came to Jesus that night to discuss being born again? Nicodemus, Rephaim, Elah, or Hinnom? Nicodemus, Matthew 28, 19, and 20. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, and the teacher, teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. 31. How many baskets of leftovers were collected after Jesus fed the 5,000? 7, 5, 12, or 10? Twelve. Matthew 14, 20. They all ate and were satisfied, and the disciples picked up 12 basketfuls of broken pieces that were left over. 32. What was Jesus doing when the storm on the Sea of Galilee arose? Preaching, sleeping, praying, or walking on water. 34. Walking on water. Matthew 8, 24. Suddenly a furious storm came up on the lake so that, that the waves swept over the boat, but Jesus was sleeping. 33. Who was the tax collector Jesus called to be his disciple? Peter, James, Matthew, or Bartholomew? Matthew. Matthew 9.9. 9, As Jesus went on from there, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the tax collector's booth. Follow me, he told him, and Matthew got up and followed him. 34. Who cut off the ear of the high priest's servant during Jesus' arrest? John, Thomas, Peter, or Judas? P. 
Peter, John 18.10, Then Simon Peter, who had a sword, drew it and struck the high priest's servant, cutting off his right ear. The servant's name was Malchus. 35. How long did Jesus stay on earth after his resurrection before ascending to heaven? 30 days, 50 days, 40 days, or 12 days? Forty days. Acts 1-3. After his suffering, he presented himself to them and gave many convincing proofs that he was alive. He appeared to them over a period of forty days and spoke about the kingdom of God. 36. What was the name of the criminal who released who was released instead of Jesus? Barabbas, Simon, Judas, or Ananias? 27 26 then he released Barabbas to them but he had Jesus flogged and handed him over to be crucified 37 who was present at Jesus crucifixion according to the Gospels Peter Mary Nicodemus or all of the above 19.25.26 Near the cross of Jesus stood his mother, his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. 38. What did the Roman centurion say after Jesus died on the cross? Truly this man was innocent, this man was punished for his sins, truly this man was a son of God, or this man was a great teacher. 'Truly this man was a son of God Mark 15:39 and when the centurion who stood there in front of Jesus saw how he died he said surely this man was the son of God 39 who was the first disciple to recognize Jesus after his resurrection by the Sea of Galilee Peter Ohio John or Thomas? John, John 21, 7, Then the disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, It is the Lord. As soon as Simon Peter heard him say, It is the Lord, he wrapped his outer garment around him and jumped into the water. 40. What did Jesus do to his disciples during the Last Supper to demonstrate humility? Gave them his robe, fed them, washed their feet, or prayed over them? 13.5. After that, he poured water into a basin and began to wash his disciples' feet, drying them with a towel that was wrapped around him. 41. In which city did Jesus heal a blind man by making mud with his saliva? Capernaum, Jericho, Jerusalem, or Bethsaida? 9 6-7 After saying this, he spit on the ground, made some mud with the saliva, and put on the man's eyes. Go, he told him, wash in the pool of Siloam. So the man went and washed and came home seeing. 42. What did Jesus say was the greatest commandment in the law? Do not steal, love the Lord your God with all your heart, honor your father and mother, or do not commit adultery. 27-38 Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. 43. What did Jesus say about the second greatest commandment? It's more important than the first, it's less important, it's like the first, or it fulfills the law. 1st Matthew 22 39 and the second is like it love your neighbor as yourself 44 where did Jesus say he would meet his disciples after his resurrection Jerusalem Nazareth Galilee or Bethany In Galilee, Matthew 28, 10 then Jesus said to them do not be afraid go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee there they will see me 45. What miracle did Jesus perform before raising Lazarus?
healed a man born blind. John 9, 1-7, Neither this man nor his parents sinned, said Jesus, but this happened so that the works of God might be displayed in him. 46. Which Old Testament character did Jesus mention when discussing his coming crucifixion? Moses, Abiram, Abraham, or Jonah? 12:40. Jonah, for as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of a huge fish, so the Son of Man will be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. 47. Which disciple asked Jesus, Lord, show us the Father, Philip, Andrew, Thomas, or Peter? 48. Philip, John 14, 8. Philip said, Lord, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. 48. In which town did Jesus call Zacchaeus, a tax collector, to follow him? Jericho, Nazareth, Capernaum, or Bethsaida? 49. Jericho. Luke 19, 1-2. Jesus entered Jericho and was passing through. A man was there by the name of Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector and was wealthy. 49. When Jesus prayed in Gethsemane, what did he ask the Father three times? to strengthen his disciples, to send angels for protection, that the cup be taken from him, or to give him courage. 49. That the cup be taken from him. Matthew 26, 39. Going a little farther, he fell with his face to the ground and prayed, My father, if it is possible, may this cup be taken from me, yet not as I will, but as you will. 50. Who asked Jesus if they could sit at his right and, and left in his kingdom? Peter and John, John and Philip, James and John, or Andrew and John? 50. James and John, Mark 10, 37, they replied, Let one of us sit at your right and the other at your left in your glory. 51. What title did Jesus often use for himself in the Gospels? Messiah, Son of Man, Son of God, or King of Jews? 50. Son of Man. Mark 10.45 For even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. 52. How many times did Jesus say to forgive someone who sins against you? 7 times, 27 times, 77 times, or 777 times. 77 times. Matthew 18, 21 and 22. Then Peter came to Jesus and asked, Lord, how many times shall I forgive? My brother or sister who sins against me, up to seven times? Jesus answered, I tell you not seven times, but seventy-seven times. 53. What did Jesus say would happen to the temple in Jerusalem? It will be expanded, it will be rebuilt in three days, it will be destroyed, or it will be strengthened. 50. It will be destroyed. Matthew 24, 2. Do you see all these things? He asked. Truly I tell you, not one stone here will be left on another. Everyone will be thrown down. 54. What is the golden rule that Jesus taught? 50. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Matthew 7:12. So when everything do to others what you would have them do to you, for this sums up the law and the prophets. 55. What was the sign that identified Judas as the betrayer? He'd point at Jesus, he'd leave early, he would kiss Jesus, or he would speak a secret phrase. 50. He'd kiss Jesus. Luke 22:48. But Jesus asked him, Judas, are you betraying the Son of Man with a kiss? 56. What parable did Jesus use to illustrate the importance of forgiveness? The prodigal son, good Samaritan, unforgiving servant, or lost sheep? 
unforgiving servant. Matthew 18, 23-35 Therefore the kingdom of heaven is like a king who wanted to settle accounts with his servant. Then the master called the servant in. You wicked servant, he said, I canceled all the debt of yours because you begged me to. Shouldn't you have this had this had shouldn't you have had mercy on your fellow servant? 57. What did Jesus say the gates of Hades would not overcome? Temple, the church, disciples, or his teachings? church matthew 16 18 and i tell you that you are peter and on this rock i will build my church and the gates of hades will not overcome it 58 what did jesus say about worrying it'll shorten your life worry shows a lack of faith do not worry about tomorrow or it's a part of life Do not worry about tomorrow. Matthew 6.34 Therefore do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. 59. What did Jesus do when he was tempted by Satan in the wilderness? Called angels to assist him, quoted scripture, performed miracles, or remained silent? Quoted scripture, Matthew 4, 4, Jesus answered, It is written, Man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. 60. What did Jesus compare the kingdom of heaven to? Mustard seed, large tree, great storm, or a vine and branches? Mustard seed. Matthew 13, 31, the kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed, which a man took and planted in his field. 61, who did Jesus call the salt of the earth? His disciples, John, Pharisees, or tax collectors? His disciples, Matthew 5, 13, you are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? 62. How many loaves of bread did Jesus have when he fed the 4,000? 5, 8, 7, or 3? Seven. Matthew 15, 34. How many loaves do you have? Jesus asked. Seven, they replied, and a few small fish. 63. What did Jesus tell the man healed of leprosy to do after being cleansed? Go and tell everyone, stay silent and go home, offer the gift Moses commanded, or rejoice and be glad. Offer the gift Moses commanded. Matthew 8, 4. Then Jesus said to him, See that you don't tell anyone, but go, show yourself to the priest, and offer the gift Moses commanded as a testimony to them. 64. When Jesus raised Jairus' daughter, what did he say to her? Come forth, Lazarus come, Talitha kum, or be healed. 65. Talitha kum. Mark 5.41. He took her by the hand and said to her, Talitha kum, which means little girl I say to you, get up. 65. Who was the high priest during Jesus' trial? Amos, Caiaphas, Haggai, or Malachi? Caiaphas, John 18, 13. They bound him and brought him first to Annas, who was father-in-law of Caiaphas, the high priest that year. 66. Which prophet did Jesus read from in the synagogue at Nazareth? Jeremiah, Daniel, Isaiah, or Amos? Isaiah, Luke 4, 17. The scroll of the prophet Isaiah was handed to him. Unrolling it, he found the place where it is written. 67. What did Jesus ask his disciples to bring when feeding the 5,000? Bread and wine, coins, loaves and fish, or water and wine? Loaves and fish. Matthew 14, 17. We have here only five loaves of bread and two fish, they answered. 
68. What was Jesus' occupation before his ministry began? Carpenter, shepherd, fisherman, or merchant? Carpenter. Mark 6.3. Isn't this a carpenter? Isn't this Mary's son and the brother of James, Joseph, Judas, and Simon? 69. What was the name of the blind man Jesus healed near Jericho? Bartimaeus, Ishmael, Esau, or Zacchaeus? Bartimaeus, Mark 10, 46-52, Then they came to Jericho, as Jesus and his disciples together with a large crowd were leaving the city, a blind man, Bartimaeus, which means son of Timaeus, was sitting by the roadside begging. 70. What did Jesus use to heal a blind man at Bethsaida? Mud, spit, his touch, or water? Spit. Mark 8.23 He took the blind man by the hand and led him outside the village. When he had spit on the man's eyes and put his hands on him, Jesus asked, Do you see anything? 71. What did Jesus say about loving your enemies? Love them and pray for them, turn them away if they are harmful, forgive but do not forget, or your enemies are wrong. 5.44 Love them and pray for them. Matthew 5.44 But I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. 72. What did Jesus say would happen to those who exalt themselves? They'll be humbled, they'll be forgiven, they'll be praised, or they'll be blessed. 73. They'll be humbled. Luke 14.11 For all those who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. 73. Where did Jesus ascend to heaven? Mount of Olives, Jordan River, Golgotha, or Sea of Galilee? 73. Mount of Olives, Acts 1.12. Then the apostles returned to Jerusalem from the hill called the Mount of Olives. 74. What did Jesus say on the cross right before he died? Father, forgive them. I thirst. It is finished. Or my God, my God. 73. It is finished. John 19.30. When he had received the drink, Jesus said, It is finished. 75. How many disciples did Jesus choose? 10, 12, 11, or 13? 12. Matthew 10, 1, Jesus called his disciples to him and gave them authority to drive out impure spirits. 76. How many days did Jesus fast in the wilderness? 30, 50, 40, or 10? 40. Matthew 4, 2, After fasting 40 days and 40 nights, he was hungry. 77. Who was Jesus' earthly father? Joseph, Peter, Ezekiel, or Gamaliel? 77. Joseph, Matthew 1.16, Jacob, the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary, and Mary was the mother of Jesus, who is called the Messiah. 78. What did Jesus ride into Jerusalem on? A horse, chariot, donkey, or camel? 78. Donkey. Matthew 21, 7. They brought the donkey and the colt and placed their cloaks on them for Jesus to sit on. 79. Where did Jesus grow up? Jerusalem, Nazareth, Bethlehem, or Bethany? 78. Nazareth. Matthew 2.23, and he went and lived in a town called Nazareth. 80. Where did Jesus say he would meet his disciples after his resurrection? 
temple, Galilee, the garden, or Jerusalem. Galilee, Matthew 28, 10. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. That's all our questions today. Put your score down below and share this with your friends and family. Then we'll see you all in the next one.